This is section 7.3. These are some examples that we're going to do using the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We're going to identify the similar triangles, then find the value of x. Here's a right triangle. We know two sides, three and four. We can definitely find the third side. So before we even start, we know that length is five. This is a three, four, five right triangle. How long is the altitude to the hypotenuse of that right triangle? Well, remember how we like, ooh, that's an ugly looking triangle. There's our three right triangles. Instead of putting the letters in certain places, I can use our lengths that we're aware of. This is the long leg of our small right triangle. This is the hypotenuse of our small right triangle. This medium sized right triangle has a hypotenuse of four. This is the short leg. The big right triangle is a three, four, five right triangle. So the short legs three, long legs four, hypotenuse is five. Now remember, all three of these triangles are similar, so we're identifying those similar triangles. Now if I was to put the letters on, maybe I'll switch the colors so it shows up a little better. The right angle on the small right triangle is H. This would be E because our short segment is segment EH. This would be G. This is our medium sized right triangle. Again, the right angle is at that vertex H. The short leg is segment HG and the long leg is segment HF. Big right triangle. Oh, geez, that's not an H. That's it should be a G. Should be a G. This guy is an E and this is F. Those are your similar right triangles. Since we know all three sides on this right triangle, it's easy to compare this right triangle to either of these other two small ones to figure out what X is. It doesn't matter if we use this one or that one. Maybe we'll use this small one. X to four is equal to, that's long leg to long leg, X to four, hypotenuse to hypotenuse, three to five. Solve for X. 5X equals 12. Divide by 5. 12 divided by 5 gives you 2.4 exactly. When you have a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, the altitude to the hypotenuse is 2.4 units. And it always will be. Every 3, 4, 5 right triangle will have this length as 2.4. Now, remember your triples, 3, 4, 5. If I multiplied all these by 2, I would get 6, 8, 10. That's another triple. Do you think you even need to calculate the altitude to the hypotenuse of a 6, 8, 10? Or do you think it's something to do with this? If I multiply all these by 2 to get this, this guy, it's 2.4 on the 3, 4, 5. It's going to be twice as big on the 6810. So the altitude, the hypotenuse of a 6810 is going to be 4.8. Okay, we'll do this one as well. There's my little red triangle. That's my medium sized one. That's my big one. The big red triangle is a 5, 12, 13. If we look at the little right triangle, the long leg is always the altitude of the hypotenuse. The actual hypotenuse is five. On the medium size, the altitude of the hypotenuse is the short leg on that medium triangle. And then the hypotenuse is 12. Those are your similar triangles. You want to find X. When we did this one over here, we used the small triangle in the big one. Well, we still know all three sides on the big one. 
but we can use the medium sized triangle if we wanted to. Let's compare short legs, X to five. Then compare hypotenuses, 12 to 13. Since these are similar, this proportion works. This ratio equals this ratio. Cross multiply, 13 times X. I'm kind of out of room, I'll go up here. That gives you 13 X. Five times 12 gives you 60. 60 divided by 13. Probably need a calculator for that. It doesn't work out to a whole number. It actually is a long decimal. There's a lot of digits there. You can round to 4.62. That's how long this altitude to the hypotenuse would be. So even though you only know two sides on this right triangle, you can find this piece also because you know all three of these triangles are similar. That's how that theorem works.